I hold up this avocado, what are you thinking of if you're hungry? Maybe guacamole? Maybe cut it up and put it on a salad. But what's the true potential that I'm holding here in my hand? There's something more, isn't there? What is it that's at the heart of this avocado? If you open it up, you'll find a seed. And inside that seed is the potential for something much more than a tasty snack. In fact, the potential that we see here in this seed can be shown by this, which I drew earlier. <laughs> so this is the real potential of the avocado. And I think that tree there represents what the real potential is. A tree that produces more fruit that you can grow other trees from. Sometimes I think we look at things like this and we have assumptions about what it is which are too limited. We need to get past our assumptions. One assumption you probably had about me was my accent. I'm actually in this photo, Papakayo School near Amaru, 1985, Standard 1 and 2. That's me with a stripy shirt. I grew up in New Zealand. I do have an accent. I can tell you my full history another time. But I grew up here. I went to Canterbury University, and then I became a lawyer. And I went overseas. I worked for 11 years in Tokyo, London, and Sydney. And I was doing major deals. This is one of them. There's a lot of um, zeros at the end of that figure. And uh, I was helping many wealthy people become wealthier. And I kind of came to a realization that maybe this isn't what I wanted. Maybe I wanted to live more with no regrets. And so with my wife, we've got four young children, we decided to come back to New Zealand, back two and a half years ago, back to Christchurch where I grew up and felt was my home. And since coming back, I've been looking for ways that business can combine profit and purpose. I wrote this book last year about that topic. And it's been a fascinating journey to learn more about this idea of taking um, the heart of charity and the mind of business and fusing them together to create social enterprise. One of the things um, through this has been uh, looking at legal structures. So this is actually one week ago in Wellington, at Wellington Zoo, talking about legal structures for social enterprises at the Akina organized event that was held there. But the other thing that has struck me with social enterprises in the journey I'm on is how valuable stories are. So about a year ago, I started a podcast called Seeds, and I've been interviewing people once a week since then. They're mainly Christchurch-based stories, and it's up to 67 interviews now. Um, it's, it's a labor of love. <laughs> but each episode gets hundreds of listens, and that those stories are so critical. So I want to tell you a few of the stories to see if they spark with you. Amy Marston is over in Aranui. She set up Temapua helping young people get out of their environments, giving them positive messages. She taught me about Fana and how it's bigger than just our blood relations. Next up is Franca Bulo. She was a PhD student at Lincoln University, an environmental social scientist. And she taught me the value of diversity, that unfortunately we tend to get into silos, don't we? We tend to talk with people who are like us. I'll talk with other lawyers, but I won't necessarily talk with a different group. This is Mark Ambundo. He comes from Kenya. He told me his experience of moving to Christchurch and being surprised at seeing the rubbish bins being put out every week, but never knowing who put them out or who brought them back in. Whereas his culture, you knew all of your neighbors. You knew everyone on the street. It's a real challenge for us, I think. This is Peter Wells from Otakaro Orchard. He taught me to think long term, to think about planting edible food for us, not for you and me, but for a hundred years from now, for our great grandchildren, that they can go and pick fruit. The last uh, story that I want to tell you is Peter Simpson. And Peter uh, was actually an MP for Littleton back in the early 1990s. He was a professor at Canterbury University. He now lives in Auckland. He has written a multitude of books about the arts in New Zealand. Amazing. And he actually knew many of the artists, like Alan Kernow, the poet, and some of the uh, painters. And this is his book that I want to share with you, The Arts in Christchurch, 1933 to 1953. Did you know that in New Zealand, Christchurch was the center of the arts? 
for those two decades. He's written about it in this book. The quote that really stood out to me from that book that I want to challenge us all with today is this. For two decades in Christchurch, there was a cast of extraordinary men and women who remade the arts. Painters looked with writers, writers promoted musicians. The arts and the artists from different forms were deeply intertwined. What does that mean for us today at the start of this conference? How can we make sure that this happens in not just the arts, but in business and other sectors as well? How can we interact with people in a cross-discipline way that means we challenge and come up with new and innovative ways of thinking? Because ultimately, if we just talk with the people we know, we're not going to achieve that. This is Alan Kernow. He lived from 1911 to 2001. He wrote dozens of poetry books. And there's one quote that I want to share with you that I think encapsulates what we have the potential to do here. He actually lived here in Christchurch. He worked at the press. Um, and the quote is this. Simply by sailing in a new direction, you could enlarge the world. He wrote that in 1942, thinking of the European um, explorers who came here on their wooden ships. Sailing in a new direction, you could enlarge the world. What does that mean for us? What's the challenge for us? Which way can we sail to expand and enlarge our world? And I want to finish by coming back to where we started, thinking about avocados, our assumptions about their potential. Their true potential is the seed within them. It's the trees that can grow. What trees can we start planting with seeds that come out of our conference today? Thanks.